another look at Typhoon and Serving or 22W ladies on the Force 13 shows. That the Typhoon is now on the weakening trend, it's located 33 decimal 1 degrees north, 125 decimal 1 degrees east, wind 65 knots, and central pressure around the 970 millibars. Here's a look at the typhoon. We know that Zurich did have an enormous eye. I think it was out to 60 nautical miles. The Joint Typhoon Warning Center's current chart. Joint Typhoon Warning Center has it located around 184 nautical miles southwest of Kunsan. Air Force Base, apology for the pronunciation, tracking north northwest at 8 knots. Wave height is 25 feet. And here's the current position of the Japanese Meteorological Agency. You can see the, the chart the strongest winds in red and the yellow represents 30 knots. Animated MSI shows the system continues to degrade as the eye feature dispersed. Convective bands are now collapsing, unraveled and elongated northeastward into the prevailing westerlies. Upper level analysis indicates moderate 15 knots vertical wind shear and subsidence along the western flank that are being partially offset by a robust oldwood outflow into the strong mid latitude westerlies. The cyclone is rounding the western edge of the mid level Syrian ridge to the east northeast. The typhoon has crested the steering ridge axis and is now forecast to accelerate northeast with making landfall along the western coast of South Korea, uh, just north of the mentioned Air Force Base, around 18 hours' time. It will then track across the rugged mountain range of the Korean Peninsula and exit out into the Sea of Japan. Increasing vertical wind shear land interaction cooler the sea surface temperatures will rapidly weaken the system by 72 hours. And the cycle will be uh, completed just north of Hokkaido, Japan. However, given the track over rugged terrain and the anticipated binary interaction with a second cyclone, uh, Typhoon 23W, there's overall low confidence. And you can clearly see from the imagery that uh, Simoan is starting to have an impact on Sulik. Uh, here's a look at the latest NOAA floaters, upper level divergence, the wind shear, the shear tendency, 850 millibar vorticity, and finally the GFS model precipitation on the Pivotal Weather website. The Force 13 will continue to bring the latest information and as uh, mentioned by Strat who uh, did our uh, last update on Hurricane Lane there is a very strong possibility that we will be continuing our live forecasting coverage of Lane 
similar Zurich and not forgetting that there's another area of interest in the West Bank. The sheer tendency, you can clearly see where Zurich and Typhoon Simon are located. And we have 93W. Uh, looks like we have a second system that's come on the, the radar. We have 92W and 93W. But the rainfall scale is at the bottom of the screen. And what I look at from a personal position is the yellow fruit to dark brown. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with you at any time. You can also find our YouTube page if you're not there already, subscribed hopefully. And you can also follow our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text. Videos are now there as well. And you can follow us on Twitter, at Force 13 is our handle. And it's hashtag F13 Sulik if you'd like to draw our attention to anything in future live events or whatnot. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron with its various rewards that come with that feature as well. And you can add me personally, Fool13 at extension 9094 on Discord and Force13 on Skype for tropical weather chat.